Hello everyone. Today, we are going to make this design using Kittle. If you are not aware of Kittle, please watch my previous Kittle tutorial to understand how to use it. You will find a link in the description to register for free. Now let's start. Yeah. 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 From your Kittle home screen, click on the new project button. The first thing we are going to do is to change the workboard dimensions to 4500 by 5400. These are the default t-shirt design dimensions for most of the print-on-demand platforms. I will switch to grid option while creating this design. This will show grids on your design board to help you while designing. You can switch it on or off according to your preference. You can also change the color of your workboard by clicking on it and changing the color from the right menu. Now, using the elements menu, I will search for surfing graphics. Then, using the abstract tap under the elements menu, I will add a shape for my background. I will change the colors of my graphics using the right menu. Now, let's add our text. To do that, simply click on add text from the left menu. You can also change the font from the right menu, which enables you to control your text completely. You can adjust the text size by clicking and dragging it from the corners. Using the effect tab at the top right menu, you can create effects to the text. I will create shadow effect to the text. You can watch my previous Kittle video to understand exactly how to add shadows to the text. I have added a back shadow to my text. Then, I duplicated a copy of my text and changed its color to sky blue. Then, I sent it to the back to create this effect. Then, I will add another text and create the same effect to it. Again, I will add more text to my board, but this time I will use another script type font.
I will add more graphic elements to my design. Now, let's add more color to the design. Again, you can change any color of any shape using the color tab from the right menu. Then, I decided to change the font of my bottom text to another font. I decided to add some decoration to my headline text. To do that, click on the effects button from the right menu. Then, under the decoration section, change the style of your text. After you finish, you can download your design from the upper menu. Make sure to click on the Remove Background button before your download. Thanks for watching.